EESIM offers two ways to simulate a power supply circuit using Simplus, the world's leading simulation engine for switched mode power supplies. First, the online DC to DC tool includes simulation capabilities powered by the Simplus engine. Second, an offline version of the Simplus Symmetric Simulation Package called EESIM SE can be downloaded at no cost from EESIM. This video explains how to perform online simulations in EESIM. Simulations are configured and run from the Schematic tab by clicking on the Simulation Control above the Schematic. The Simulation Setup window has one tab for each available simulation type. The settings shown are unique for each simulation type. In all cases, the settings are pre-configured to reasonable values, making online simulation fast and easy. Many engineers will use these default settings and proceed directly to running simulations. However, if different simulation settings are desired, making changes is straightforward. Simply type a new value to change the setting minding the engineering units. When configuring a load step or line transient, the pulse image next to the settings updates as changes are made. Ensure that the complete pulse waveform is contained on the gray background. The gray background represents the length of the simulation. To run a simulation, click on the checkbox next to that simulation type on the right side of the screen. Any combination of simulations can be selected, including running all available simulation types. Click the Run Simulations button to begin simulation. The waiting time varies from a few seconds up to five minutes, depending on the number of simulations being run and design complexity. When simulation is complete, links to the simulation results are displayed. Click on these teal links to view the simulation results in the WebScope Waveform Viewer. Watch the Waveform Viewer video to learn more about manipulating the results waveforms. To run additional simulations, ensure that the desired simulation types are checked and click Run Simulations again. When finished simulating, click the Save and Close button to save the configuration data. After closing the simulation window, results are accessed using the Design History button. Watch the history video to learn how design revisions can be managed in EESIM.